Barut Dynamics Limited and French engine manufacturer Safran are in discussions to create a joint venture for the local manufacturing of M88 engines and TR40 jet engines at the company's Greenfield facility in India. The local production of M88 engines will cater to the existing 36 Rafale aircraft of the Indian Air Force, but it will also increase the chances of the Rafale F4 standard to be selected under the 114 MRFA program. It is to be noted, that Bharat Dynamics had also signed a Memorandum of Understanding with France's Dassault Aviation at the Defence Expo 2022, for the integration of Bharat Dynamics manufactured Astra air-to-air -air missiles and smart anti-air field weapon on the Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force, which also points that India might go ahead with 114 Rafale F-4 standard in the MRFA programme. The TR-40 is a remarkably compact jet engine with an excellent thrust-to-weight ratio, that has been developed specially for anti-ship missiles. In the next three weeks, US engine manufacturer General Electric and Hindustan Aeronautics will sign a deal for local manufacturing of the 98 kN class F-414 engines in India. The F-414 engines will be used on the 120 Tejas Mark II fighter jets that will enter production from 2030 onwards, and will also power 40 AMCA Mark I, and 4 pre-production prototypes of the TED BF fighter jets. India is also in discussions with French firm Safran and UK's Rolls-Royce, to develop a 120 kN engine by 2030 that will power its 80 AMCA Mark II fighter jets and future 6th generation platforms. The project director of the Tejas Mark II program has said, that 16 countries have inquired about the Tejas Mark II program, as many countries are looking for low-cost medium-class fighter jets. The Indian Air Force will place orders for 120 Tejas Mark II aircraft and is considering to order 80 more units in second batch. Hindustan Aeronautics is also planning to engage private sector companies for an alternate production line of Tejas Mark II fighter jets, that will cater to the export market. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said, that the Tejas Mark 1A program is on track and the Mark 1A flying testbed has started carrying out sorties to validate the 43 improvements, and the first Mark 1A aircraft will be delivered to the Indian Air Force ahead of schedule in February 2024. Hal Chief has said, that in addition to the Tejas aircraft, Argentina has also shown interest in the Prachan light combat helicopter during the Defence Expo 2022 while Philippines and Egypt have expressed interest in the Druf Advanced Light Helicopter. The chairman of Bharat Dynamics Limited has handed over the first model of three new products to Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, that includes an anti-tank guided missile for the Arjun Mark 1A main battle tank, the Sangram Eco Light Weight Vehicle Mounted Anti-Tank Guided Weapon System, and the Sanhirika which is an armored vehicle-mounted laser-guided short-range anti-aircraft weapon system. Hindustan Aeronautics has awarded a contract to MKU Limited for design and indigenous development of night vision goggles for light utility helicopters. It will be powered by Gen 3 technology and will be manufactured under the UP Defense Industrial Corridor. MKU Limited has also signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Henselt of Germany to indigenously manufacture night owl products to enable observation at extremely long ranges. Airbus has announced that it has received approval from India's Directorate General of Civil Aviation for the C-295 aircraft program that makes Airbus the first foreign original equipment maker to get such approval. Airbus will deliver 16 C-295 aircraft within four years, while the remaining 40 aircraft will be manufactured and assembled by Tato Advanced Systems in India. Oh,